Hi there, in this final lesson, again, we're going to look at um, creating straight lines on a coordinate grid from our, our patterns. But the more complex ones, again, we've looked at simpler ones before. Um, okay, so let's look at this table here. We've got an X and a Y, um, and we're trying to work out what the pattern is, first of all. Now, I'm not going to go through that. Watch the last video lesson if you want. But I can see it's gone up in fours here. So Y is going to be equal to 4X. Um, and then it's going to be plus or minus something. Okay, so let's have a look. So y equals, so if you times that number by 4, and then add on 1. Let's check it out. Times by 4, add on 1. Times by 4, add on 1. So that seems to be the formula I'm going to use here. So y equals 4x add on 1. So if you were asked for that, that's what you would do. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to generate my coordinates to then draw in my coordinate grid. So each one of these pairs is a coordinate, an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. Again, there's another one, there's another one, and there's another one. Okay, so we've got 0, 1 here as a coordinate, and 1, 5, 2, 9, and 3, 13. Now I can plot those if I draw a coordinate grid out. Um, I've got a coordinate grid going along to 8 and up to 12. And let's have a look at them up there. So I've still got them on the screen. Remember, the first number is how far you go along. Second number, up or down. In this case, just up. So 0 along and 1 up. Now I've got to be careful. I'm going up in 2s here, so that would be there. 1 along and 5 up. 1 along and 5 up. That would be there. 2 along and 9 up. 2 along and 9 would be in between there. And finally, 3 along and 13 up. So 3 along, that's just off the grid there. So that would be something like that. So once you've done that, you can join them up. And that should create a straight line. Because these are all linear relationships. Linear means straight. And they should all create straight lines when you plot them on a coordinate diagram. So this week question here. When the plot, uh, points are plotted, a line can be drawn. If where does the line pass through this time? It passes through one instead of the origin where it did last time. And again, I'm not going to go into too much detail here. This is explored very much so at National 5. Again, if you want to look at my National 5 video lessons on the straight line, we explore this in much more detail. But this is the general idea, getting a graph from a table. Now, what's quite nice to do is to, connect next to the, um, the straight line, write down what the equation is. So that's the equation of y equals 4x plus 1. 